in this video we will talk about absorption spectrum and action spectrum. Before discussing absorption spectrum and action spectrum, we want to explain what happens to chlorophyll after absorbing light. Excited chlorophyll can perform three activity. One it can undergo resonance energy transfer. In this process, chlorophyll may participate in energy transfer, during which an excited chlorophyll transfers its energy to another molecule. Second, it can undergo photochemistry or photochemical reaction. In this process excited chlorophyll can donate its electron. Third, it can show fluorescence. In this process, excited chlorophyll can lose energy by emission of light of longer wavelength, this process known as fluorescence. Now we will talk about absorption spectrum. An absorption spectrum shows the quantity of light absorbed by a pigment at different wavelengths of the light. The absorption spectrum measured by a spectrophotometer. This graph is showing absorption spectrum of different pigments at different wavelengths. As we can see, absorption occur in chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, at blue and red region. At green region no absorption occur because chlorophylls reflect green color and it appear green. As we can see no absorption peak in green part. Likewise beta carotene absorb blue part of light and it reflect red color. So it does not absorb red part of light. Action spectrum. An action spectrum is the rate of a physiological activity or photosynthesis at the different wavelengths of light. Chlorophyll A absorbs blue and red region of light and it became excited and it can lose its electron. And it receives electron by oxidation of water molecule. In this event oxygen releases. So, researcher measures of oxygen release at different wavelength to no action spectrum. This graph is showing action spectrum, as chlorophyll absorbs blue and red region of light and oxygen release occur at blue and red region of light. Let's we know, history of action spectrum. In 1881, the German plant physiologist T. W. Engelmann observed action spectra in the case of spirogyra. Engelmann took modal, aerobic bacteria and spirogyra in a transparent test tube. Spirogyra is green algae and release oxygen in the light. Aerobic bacteria need oxygen for their survival. As he passes light from prism it split into a light spectrum. After exposure of light spectrum, the bacteria had gathered around the portions of the filament illuminated by red and blue light. So, Engelmann concluded that red and blue light are the most effective colors for photosynthesis. Action spectra were very important for the discovery of two distinct photosystems operating in oxygen-evolving photosynthetic organisms.